Hi, this is John Kranz with Consent Press. This is going to be a relatively uh, quick video just to talk about starting a patrol assignment and rolling and checking for encounters. So first of all, what we have here is our Type 7 CU boat. Uh, it's at the start of the game, so it's October of 1940, which is when it's first available. And as you can see here with our U-boat marker, it is presently in port. It has not left port. So what I'd like to do next is actually go out and determine our very first uh, patrol assignment. And to do that, we can refer to our charts and tables. And you'll see here I have a chart that I'm showing here. Let me scroll down a little bit. It's the P1, uh, P as in Paul 1 chart, U-Bolt Patrol Assignment Chart. Uh, one thing I just want to give you a heads up on, just to make you aware, this is the actual printed chart that comes with the game. And you'll see in the notes section we have four notes or exceptions that are, that are uh, captured here. But what I'd like to do now is actually flip over to a, uh, the charts and tables that are now available for download from the Consent Press website because we did find late in proofing that we were missing one exception, uh, which was case number five, which we've now added. So this is available now. This is a PDF I've downloaded. And it is covered in the rules, but it was not on this chart. And that is the one um, U-boat restriction re uh, that involves the Type 7D and Type 7C flak boats. Now the Type 7C flak boat actually doesn't come into um, use until late 43, so it might see little play in the game now until we have perhaps an expansion and go later in the war. Uh, and then again, the type uh, so the Type 7D is something you just want to note here. And what that note we added was for the Mediterranean, that these uh, two uh, U-boat models are not allowed in the med. So for Mediterranean, you'll see the change here is that we added uh, not only a, a note for uh, note number one, but note now case number five was added to make sure it's consistent with the rules. So again, just a quick heads up on that, just to make you aware of that. And, and of course, our apologies for the inconvenience caused, but we obviously recommend you go ahead and uh, print out um, the charts and tables available for download if, if, you, uh, if you can. So now that we've done that, I'm going back to the original chart, which you have already. And again, that missing note here only has to do with the Type 7D and Type 7C flak. So it might not, in, in our case, uh, for the Type 7C that we're using, it, it's not a rule that's going to apply anyway. So to start off, we're going to do our U-boat patrol assignment. We're going to determine that now. And remember that our first patrol starts October of 1940. That's the start date for the Type 7C. So I'm going to use the third column here, 1940, July through December. And I'm just going to roll two six-sided die to see what result we get and I rolled an 11 West African coast I go here to the notes it says type 7 boats meaning all of them it's not specified by model treat West African coast as art as Atlantic instead so in this case we rolled an 11 but we are not going to go to West African coast we're going to go to the Atlantic that again according to the historical notes in the rules and it is fully captured here so now that we've rolled an 11 and we're going to treat that result as the Atlantic we can go back to our um, Type 7 CU boat and we're going to go to the Atlantic track our first track right here so let's go ahead and as we get started, what we would do is to do our first encounter check. We would do that by placing the U-boat in the first uh, travel space. Uh, in this case, it's a transit box. But one thing I want to point out here that's very important, and that is you'll notice for, and let me zoom in here just so you can see it a little bit better. Uh, so excuse me while I zoom in, but this is important. Notice that for certain transit boxes, the very first box as well as the very last box, you'll notice the Bay of Biscay is in brackets. It's not for every patrol assignment, just for several, and it depends on what model you have. So what's the Bay of Biscay? What's that, what's that all about? So let's, let's find out. We're going to refer to the rules for that. So let me switch over to the rules booklet. We're going to go down to the index. And for Bay of Biscay, which I want to talk about for a moment, let's go to rules case 7.3.6. Let's go ahead and, and scroll up to that section. So I'm going to scroll up now to that part of the rules. And here we are for 736 Bay of Biscay. And this is a very important rule to keep in mind. It's how we basically treat that transit box, the first box and the last box, if we have Bay of, Bis Bay of Biscay in brackets. And basically beginning July of 1940, the first and possibly last transit box for certain patrol assignments are treated as Bay of Biscay. And you want to roll on that um, table 
of the chart. So we are starting October of 1940, which is after July, so Bay of Biscay is already in effect. And again, you'll see the historical note here, basically um, following the successful France 1940 campaign, the Germans established numerous U-boat bases along that French coastline or the Bay of Biscay area. So going back now, we know now that we have to treat this first transit box as an encounter check for the Bay of Biscay. And let's see what that actually looks like. We're going to go back to the charts now. And we're going now to our encounter chart. That's what I'm showing to you now. And notice we have the various patrol assignments you could have. Um, oh, I had rolled West African Coast, but of course we have to treat that as Atlantic. Notice here we have a transit box, which I will zoom in on. We have a transit box we could be rolling, uh, oops, there we go, that we could be rolling uh, to uh, D6 on to see what the possible encounter result is. But we are not going to use the transit box because it is, uh, it is July uh, or after of 1940, starting, starting July or later of 1940, we have to go here. We have to go to the Bay of Biscay table for checking for an encounter. So that is exactly what we're going to do. Notice that there are possible modifiers for a Bay of Biscay, and that is if it was 1942 or later, there would be a negative die roll modifier, which would actually uh, mean it's more likely that uh, you would perhaps get an aircraft encounter. So again, the risk, the risk goes up during the war, which happened historically, of aircraft encounters occurring. So let's go ahead and now resolve this. We don't have any die roll modifiers for the first transit box, but we are going to treat it as Bay of Biscay because it's October of 1940. So let's roll our 2d6 with no modifiers. And I rolled a 9. Notice with a 9 there is no effect. Now, one thing to note, if it, whenever you roll a, tw a natural 12 boxcars for the first time by this first note, which I've got highlighted here, the first natural 12 you roll it triggers a random event for your patrol assignment. In this case, it wasn't a 12, nor did I roll an aircraft encounter. So I can go back and I've resolved a possible encounter for Bay Biscay. I, I can now proceed to the next transit box. So I'm now at my second transit uh, s space, but in this case, it's not Bay of Biscay anymore. And now, now when we go back to, uh, to this chart, we're not going to use Bay of Biscay anymore. We're going to go ahead and we're going to refer to the transit, uh, to the transit table. So we're going to roll 2d6, and uh, let me check if there's any modifiers for that. Um, no modifiers for that. We are okay. So let's go ahead and roll 2d6 on the transit uh, table. And I rolled 4 plus 2 is a 6, so no effect for transit. Great. So let's go back to our U-boat. And okay, we've just left the transit area. We are now out officially on patrol. We've en entered our first uh, travel space representing our assigned patrol, which is the Atlantic. So now we are going to do another encounter a check for this next um, space. So let's see how we resolve that. So we go here and we find the Atlantic, which I found here. It's uh, again next to the Arctic. So we're going to roll. Notice here the, the activity uh, quickens quite a bit here as far as possibilities. So we're going to roll the 2d6 again. And let's see what happens. I rolled a 4. A 4, believe it or not, is no effect. So we go back to our type 7c. There is no encounter in that first uh, patrol area. And Typically, in game terms, each uh, space represents about two or three days of time. So we're, we're now proceeding to our next Atlantic space, and I will roll there again, referring again to the Atlantic table. So let's roll our 2d6. And I rolled a 3. Rolling a 3 for the Atlantic is a ship encounter. So something has indeed occurred here. On a ship result, notice it says nothing of escort. If I had rolled, for example, a 6 for British Isles, it says ship plus escort. What we have just rolled is a lone ship without escort or an unescorted vessel. So this is something we're going to be actually covering in, in one of our uh, video installments. Uh, actually, it's going to probably be the next one that I'll be shooting, is just the introduction of uh, ship combat, and we'll start with unescorted ships. You can either have a single unescorted ship or you might run across two ships under a single under escort. So those are the two options, as well as a tanker. A uh, tanker is also unescorted in that case. So what that basically means now is we would be resolving an encounter in our second Atlantic space. And again, this is something that we'll be covering in a separate uh, 
video just to keep this one short, but I hope you got the general uh, idea here of how we first determine our patrol assignment. Once we know what our patrol assignment is, we roll for the first transit box, and again, starting July of, of 40, you may be rolling for Bay of Biscay, which we did for the first box, and you would do it also for the very last box when you're returning home to port. That's something you would be doing again. And then you notice how we rolled for the, the second transit, uh, or travel space, um, travel box, nothing happened there, Atlantic, nothing happened, and then we rolled a single lone ship encounter, and that's, uh, again, we'll cover that encounter in a separate video. The only other thing that I uh, did want to mention here was we don't have it on this particular U-boat display mat, but you might notice for certain U-boat models there will be a travel box, perhaps it's the Arctic, uh, etc., or North America, and it might say times two, or times three inside the box. That's important. What that means is you're actually going to be rolling more than once for possible uh, encounters in that specific travel uh, box. Now I don't have any here that have a times two or a times three, but whenever you see a times two or times three, that means that you roll uh, that many times. To, those are the number of encounter checks that you need to do. Also, we do have a, 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 some special rules for U-boats that are damaged. Uh, I believe it's under the uh, damage engine rules. Double check those rules because there is a note there that if you're going to abandon uh, your patrol abort, I'm sorry, abort your patrol, and which means you jump to the nearest transit box, uh, it might state that due to damaged engines, you have to mo roll uh, more than once for possible encounters because, again, with damaged engines, it's it's slower going getting back to your um, to your base. So the special rule for engine damage might mention you need to roll more than once uh, when checking for encounters. So again, I hope this gave you just a quick and easy overview of uh, how you conduct. Uh, patrol assignments and check for possible encounters in each space as we go through and resolve that. Thank you again for watching.